Hi guys, it is another frosty midwinter night here in late November. It is Wednesday, November 23rd, 2022. It is the eve of Thanksgiving and uh, so I guess uh, I, I just can't let these two articles go passing me by. Uh, I guess we can be thankful for Herschel Walker and the Heartland Institute. Let's give a big hand for Herschel Walker and the Heartland Institute and their fellow organizations. Uh, <laughs> you know, when, when, when Herschel Walker, we all know who Herschel Walker is by now, guys. You, you know, when Herschel Walker, all right, start sounding like the most sensible person uh, c candidate on, uh, on issues. Uh, you know things are getting weird on the planet when you, when you have Herschel Walker and the Heartland Institute. Uh, obviously we're talking about two different subjects. So uh, we're going to start with Herschel and then go over and see what our friend, you know, those, you know, those right wing climate change denier uh, disinfo uh, people over at the Heartland Institute. But we're going to start with Herschel Walker because uh, all joking aside, I think both of these articles are from HuffPost from the little limp dick lefties at HuffPost, the uh, the epicenter of the limp dick lefties. Let me make sure that's correct. No, the Herschel Walker story is from some at outfit called Jezebel. <clears throat> Herschel Walker delivers unhinged, unhinged transphobic speech the day after LGBTQ nightclub shooting. Yes, so uh, we're not going to rehash the shooting, but uh, okay, we're going to get down to the direct quote. We're not going to listen to the little, you know, trying to, you know, trying to analyze uh, Herschel Walker. My guess is Herschel Walker had never heard of the shooting in Colorado before this unhinged transphobic speech. So here is what Walker told voters according to audio obtained by Jezebel. We're going to quote Herschel Walker. All right. <clears throat> They've been telling you they don't know the definition of a woman. So think about that. They, they, meaning you, you know, you know exactly who they're talking about. We all know the they they're talking about. They don't know the definition of a woman, but I'm going to tell you the definition of a woman. And then, of course, he never tells a definition of a woman. But I'm going to tell you the definition of a woman because it written in my great book, I guess a Bible, it said a man and a woman. And there is a difference between the two of them. So that is the reason men shouldn't, shouldn't be in women's sports. Here's the difference. But then yet, they're trying to tell you a man could get pregnant. Get that out of your head. No, he can't. No, he can't. All they're trying to do is take you down in that elevator, take you down in that elevator and lie to you. But I'm going to tell you Right now, I'm not going to lie to you. I'm going to tell you we're in a mess. <laughs> <coughs> that, 
That is certainly the definition of an unhinged, what do they call it? These little limp dick lefties. An unhinged transphobic speech. Sounds pretty unhinged to me. Yes, unhinged. Here is the defi a limp dick lefty's definition of an unhinged transphobic speech. Uh, they're telling you they don't know the definition of a woman. Okay, sounds pretty unhinged. There is a difference between the two of them. So that's the reason men shouldn't be in women's sports. Here's the difference. Sounds pretty unhinged to me. But then they're trying to tell you a man could get pregnant. Get that out of your head. No, he can't. No, he can't. Thank you, Herschel Walker. <coughs> for that biology lesson. At least Herschel Walker, uh, sounds like we have found a subject that Herschel Walker is a, an expert in, is biology. That a man, someone born with a penis who has never had a vagina or a womb or a uterus cannot get pregnant. Herschel Walker understands it. Sancho Panza understands it. Okay. And uh, thank you, Herschel Walker, for explaining to the limp dick lefties that a man cannot get pregnant. Can't happen. Cannot happen. It's against the law. The law. You know, I, I mean, all, all joking aside, you know, it's shit like that. Then he goes off. I'm not going to get into it. Then he goes off talking about uh, all of these fucking pronouns uh, that, that they're throwing at us now. Uh, you know, it's fucking he, she, they. They is more than one fucking person. You cannot have a they one person can't be a they. Herschel Walker understands that one person can't be a they. You know, I, I, you know, all kidding aside, people, that these little limp dicks at Jezebel and HuffPost and, and anybody else uh, talking this shit. You're pushing the fucking envelope. So what you're doing is you're taking a, a bunch of people who are basically on your side. It's a free fucking country. If you want to cut your fucking dick off, call yourself a woman. Cut your fucking dick off and call yourself a woman. It's a free fucking country. You are free to cut your fucking dick off, call yourself a woman, and when you're done, you're a clueless fucking moron who just cut his dick off and called himself a woman. You're not a she. You're a fucking he who cut his dick off. You clueless fucking moron. You know, it, 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 and, and, and there's a lot more people out there just like me who have no problem in a free fucking country with people cutting their fucking dick off and calling themselves a woman. Okay, but, but all of this fucking bullshit... Uh, you know, changing pronouns and all of this shit, changing the fucking English language to sit here and cater to a tiny, tiny little minority. It's, uh, you, you sit here, you, you fucking trannies, whatever you are, sit here and, 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 and throw it all on Hambone. I, I'm the only motherfucker out here sounding like, there's a fuck of a lot of people sounding like me. Okay, who are saying Herschel Walker is making more sense than these fucking limp dick lefties. It's going to come back, and uh, well, you don't have any balls, I guess, if you cut them off. It's going to come back and kick you in your whatever you got. 
you're making a big fucking mistake. You're alienating a bunch of people who have, you know, who were defending your fucking right. But uh, just keep on with it. Keep on with it, you little fucks. Uh, got, got no fucking business telling me a fucking man can, can get pregnant and I'm 100% with Herschel Walker. That, that these fucking guys calling themselves a woman and, and then going there in and, and, and sports and, and, and getting and, and competing against and, and competing against women, calling it this fucking bullshit. A woman is someone who is born with a fucking pussy. It's what a woman is. Someone who was born with a fucking pussy. There, there, there's a tiny little percentage of people who, who might have been born with a little bit of this and a little bit of that. We're not talking about them. The, you know, the true biological whatevers. It, it is one one thousandth of one tenth of a fucking percent. We all fucking know it. Anyway, so from Herschel Walker, you go, Herschel Walker! Uh, to, uh, we're going to go over there. Now we're going to those little, uh, limp dicks over at Huff Post. And, uh, this is climate deniers exploit endangered whales in bid to kill offshore wind. So Huff Post or, you know, this major hotbed of, of little limp dick lefties cheering on the bright green lies of the renewable energy transition. They are, they are going to defend the, the, these fucking solar farms and wind farms. They don't give a fuck. These little fucking limp dick lefty pussies, like over there at HuffPost, they would... Uh, they would rather endanger uh, these endangered whales by putting these fucking wind turbines out in the fucking ocean. It, it's more important to, to these little clueless fucking moron limp dick lefties to, to push this fake green agenda, okay, than it is to protect whales. And, and, and right here, it, 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 this is such a, a, a classic example. All right, you know, you know, this fucking bullshit. Some of the nation's most hardline climate change deniers are branding themselves guardians of the critically endangered North Atlantic right whale as they ramp up efforts to fight offshore wind development along the East Coast. You go, guys. The Heartland Institute and the Committee for a Constructive Tomorrow have teamed up with the American Coalition for, for Ocean Protection, a green-sounding anti-wind power group to, quote, explore a lawsuit protecting the right whale from Dominion Energy's efforts to place an offshore wind project directly in their habitat, close quote. When complete, Dominion's planned $9.8 billion coastal Virginia offshore wind project will consist of 176, 176 of these giant fucking wind turbines and produce enough electricity to power more than 600,000 homes. It will be located 27 miles off the coast of Virginia Beach. Um... In their announcement, leaders of the right-wing organizations voiced concern for what the project, one of several large offshore wind farms in various stages of development off the East Coast, would mean for the right whale. 
The population of right whales has been steadily falling since 2010, and fewer than 350 of the animals are estimated still living. So they haven't filed, this, uh, filed a suit yet, and I hope to hell they do. I, I am absolutely cheering on the, these right-wing climate deniers. They're threatening to sue these motherfuckers. Quote, Unless the Bureau of Ocean Energy Management requires extensive, effective, unprecedented protection measures for the North Atlantic right whale immediately, this species is almost certainly headed toward extinction, said David Stevenson, president of, what was the name, American Coalition for Ocean Protection. Uh, quote, with only a little more than 300 individual right whales alive today, this endangered species is in dire need of protection, and the Virginia Wind Project lies directly in their annual migration path, close quote. You go, brother, David Stevenson. So what, so then what they do, and I can't remember the name of the logical fallacy that these little limp dicks over there at HuffPost do. So what they do is they, 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 they kind of like stop there and they spend the rest of the article pointing out what a fucking uh, hypocrite David Stevenson is. And uh, so David Stevenson, what he is, is a big, uh, he's, he's an oil guy. And so he is a big proponent of offshore oil drilling. So the rest of the story is, is uh, talking trash uh, uh, about this motherfucker, this oil guy, uh, who has no problem, as they say, drilling for oil in seismic testing and drilling for oil and a guy, you know, in these right whales uh, migration paths. Uh, but the thing about it, they, whatever the logical fallacy is, is that is irrelevant. I agree with, with HuffPost, the guy is a fucking, uh, he, he, he's a fucking hypocrite. He's a fucking planet eater. He's a fucking oil driller and all of this shit. And that he, that what he's doing is, uh, you, you know, being an oil guy, he's talking trash about windmills. So, but that doesn't change the fact, okay? What he is saying about the fucking wind project in that, in, in that quote I just read is dead on center. It doesn't change the fact, the, the fact that he's a fucking hypocrite oil man, planet-eating son of a bitch, right-wing climate change denier, in no way, shape, or form uh, changes the fact uh, uh, th that this motherfucking wind project in the middle of the right whale's migration path uh, is, is a good way to kill fucking whales. And, and, and these little fucking limp dick lefties over there at HuffPost obviously, obviously think it's more important to, to build this wind farm to power 600,000 homes for humans than it is to, to help do whatever we can to, uh, to, to, to save the last 300 right whales on the fucking planet. You know, it's just like the fact that Herschel Walker uh, you, you know, should never have graduated second grade. Uh, the fact that, that Herschel Walker uh, has an IQ, uh, basically, of a, a mentally retarded person, uh, does not change the fact that a man cannot get pregnant. You know, it's, the, it's the, these fucking little limp dick lefties. Uh, whether, whether it's all of that pronoun, man can get pregnant 
fucking bullshit or, or, or whether it's this fucking uh, wind mills and solar panels are, are going to save the fucking planet. You, you know, uh, the, the, these little fucking uh, limp dick lefties, man. And that doesn't mean uh, if there's anything that I said, uh, me talking about these limp dick lefties, uh, means that, that I'm some sort of right-wing, Trump-tard ass licker. It means that I am a fucking lefty with a fucking heart on. You know, uh, I, I, I am so far to the left. How many times do I say this? I'm so far to the fucking left that, that I spend more time <clears throat> you know, bumping uglies with the hard line uh, right wingers and I do the soft left. The fucking soft left. They're, 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 they're more embarrassing me, embarrassing, and they're more reprehensible to me than a fucking ass, a Trump tard, the Alex Jones ass licking, right wing climate change denying, uh, whatever fucking little soft left. And that's exactly what it is. The soft left. Get some fucking balls. Put some fucking blood in your dick. You know? Call out these motherfuckers uh, from their goddamn wind turbines and their solar panels right up uh, to, to their fucking claims that men can get pregnant. I'm fucking sick and tired of them. I really am. Fucking sick and tired of them. So for any little limp dick lefties, uh, and I got some good friends who are limp dick lefties, believe it or not. Uh, I, I, I got some good friends uh, who voted for Donald Trump. I got some good friends who are limp dick lefties. Oh, fuck. Anyway, what do you think, Sancho? Did I cover all my bases? Happy Thanksgiving. Bye, guys.